the the head of the Department of Energy, the nominated head, is uh, Chris Wright. He's the head of, uh, he's a fossil fuel executive, and he doesn't buy the BS, and, and nor should he. Uh, the Mysterians would wish to deprive us of fuel, for it is fuel that makes us prosperous. It's fuel that sets us apart. The climate has always changed. There's no reason to believe that mom taking the kids to the soccer game is causing the the earth to end. Well, admittedly, the climate has always changed and always will. Uh, there's no reason to be in a panic about it. It will be interesting to see how this pick is treated. There is every bit of growing evidence that the picks that Trump makes apparently terrify <laughs> Washington. Yeah. yeah. Now, it would be one thing. Now, Kennedy apparently, <clears throat> I think Kennedy's pick terrifies them because he's considered to be a crackpot. Which he might very well be, and I don't want him destroying our ability to uh, discover viruses and right. and extend our life expectancy. But he terrifies them, I guess, because he's a crackpot. No, uh, not crackpot. He falls under the generic uh, wide-reaching heading of uh, anti-vaxxer. Right, but he insists that anybody who wants vaccines will still be able to get them. He insists what he wants to do is inform you about them. Okay, I, I, I'm i getting old enough to now where I don't really, uh, I don't think I'll need a measles vaccine. Will but I? Probably not. Is he going to inform us differently than the way we were informed about the I COVID? couldn't name you the current uh, person in the position he's nominated for. Nope. Uh, John, can you? I mean, the, I, I cannot. I could look. Yeah, it's a... Uh, That's cheating. I, I think it's one of our uh, <laughs> trans friends, I think, isn't it? One of the... I think you're correct, yeah. actually. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, as far as I know. Uh, you can still be a sharp scientist and be trans, right? But no one knows that person's nope. name. We're, we're Not wrong. trans? Sorry. Huh? No, nope, it's, it's a gentleman by the name of Xavier Becerra, oh, the yeah, American Xavier. lawyer and politician, who is the Secretary of Health and Human Services. Okay, now what a did a lawyer... He's held since March of 2021. What did a lawyer and politician yeah. know about that role? And, I mean, that's what Kennedy is. He's a lawyer. Hmm. What... What did Pete Buttigieg, the mayor of South Bend, Indiana, know about transportation? Nothing. What? Studebaker. He wouldn't even know that. <laughs> I don't know what that old factory is over there that says Studebaker on the top of the building. But you get into people like Hegseth and Getz, and they apparently are, are terrifying the deep state, and over the weekend, this Vivek Ramaswamy, mm -hmm. uh, he said this just so casually, but to me it's so meaningful. Uh, he was talking about uh, this new department that Trump and Elon have dreamed up, the Department of Govern Government Efficiency, yep. D-O-G-E. Doge. And the uh, Ramaswamy, Vivek, Vivek Ramaswamy, apparently will be the co-leader of that effort. Yes, sir. And he laid out the new agency's vision during an exclusive with Fox News' Maria Bartiromo yesterday, telling the Sunday Morning Futures host the aggressive cost-cutting strategy will begin with executive action and lay the groundwork for Congress to do its part. Then he threw this out there. The failures of the executive branch need to be addressed because the dirty little secret right now is the people we elect to run the government 
They're not the ones who run the government. Oh. It's the unelected bureaucrats in the administrative state that was created through executive action. It's going to be fixed, he said, through executive action. Hmm. What? What? Hello? I don't get it. The, well, we have been saying it, but we're just dummies. Well, yeah. 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 We're just out here in nowhere land saying, who in the hell's running the country? It ain't Biden. So are there a th- He's wandering around now in the rainforest. They are, ice cream they are a threat to democracy, then. Is that what they're saying? I don't know what they're saying. Hmm. Think about the Supreme Court's environment, Ramaswamy said. Over the last several years, they've held that many of those regulations are unconstitutional at a large scale. Rescind those regulations, pull those regs back, and then that gives us the industrial logic to then downsize the size of that administrative state. And the beauty of all this is that it can be achieved just through executive action without Congress. Score some early wins, and then you look at the bigger portions of the federal budget that's, that need to be addressed one by one. Hmm. Uh, Ram Swamy pledged to bring sweeping change as early and as quickly as possible. Earlier this month, Trump tapped Ramaswamy and Musk to lead this newfound Department of... What's Dodge? Department of... Doge. What is it? Government efficiency. Government efficiency. Aimed at suggesting ways to dismantle government bureaucracy and restructure federal agencies from outside the government perspective. I don't care who you are. Isn't that a good thing? Doesn't that sound like a good thing? Yes. To a normal person, yes. Let's take a look here at this thing. You know, let's say you have a landscaping business. All right. I don't know, and you got 50 employees. Mm -hmm. All right. And you're not paying any attention. Okay. You begin to notice, boy, we're a little stretched at the end of the month. A little too much month at the end of your money. And then they go to the warehouse where they, all the guys keep the stuff. Yep. And all of a sudden they see, we have 25 more lawnmowers than I thought we had. We have uh, 15 more trailers than I thought we had. What's going on here? <coughs> Wouldn't that person undertake a reevaluation of the business? You think so? You're, Maybe that's a that's a terrible analogy, but it was all I could all come right. up with. As Twenty-five quickly as possible. extra trailers and well, well I mean, <laughs> all of a sudden, why do we have those six new pickup trucks? Forty-eight hour. I rule. didn't authorize 48 that. Forty-eight hour rule. They've been there a long time. Well, that's what they do. Is they use the forty-eight <laughs> hour rule. But the point is, I don't even think these guys can pull this off. By the way, I I think that the government has become so multi-layered, so monstrously large employs so many people. I don't know how they can do it. Well, but whatever, I think we should be applauding the fact that they're going to try. Right. And whatever success they have, that's to our benefit, right? Well, they might not be able to do it all, but you know, if they find $100 billion that's being wasted. Well, it's like climate change. You know, the climate change hysterians can't, ask the, can't answer the question, well, what year in time would you think would be better than this year? Right. Well, was 1957, did that have more agreeable temperatures for you? And they can't answer that question because there is no answer to it. It's the same with the government. At what point in the history of the American government would it have been more efficient than it is today? In other words... From day one, it probably started getting inefficient. Mm -hmm. That would just be the nature of it because they don't have any competition. Right. Now, the founder, the founders set it up to be an example of checks and balances with three legislative branches. But those branches, look at the size of Congress. Now, there's, uh, what, 403 or 404 Congress people, but imagine how, how many each one of them employees, and imagine how many offshoots of it are. It's just endless. Didn't I'm you getting take, worked up. I see you are that. yelling. You're almost <laughs> screeching. I know. I'm going to say um, no, no. Didn't you take the Musk appointment just to be Trump following up on his promise to, initially, I believe it started as, uh, I'm going to audit the IRS. And we all said, yay. 
And then I think that encouraged him and said, I'm going to audit the entire government. Isn't that him? It's just Trump following through on that pro, uh, yes. promise, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes. Yeah. And I would think 76 million voters are approving <clears throat> of that. Yeah, I I, th- I think that was a factor. Mm. And thus the tremor of fear from the entrenched <laughs> yes. third rail. That's who's crying. I'm not crying voting the... for people to lose their livelihoods, but you better be able to account for what you do. Can I play? I finally found the thing I was looking for. You know how the uh, the entire run up to the election was we kept hearing about things like a threat to our democracy. Mm-hmm. And there were several news cl- clips this and talking This coming from heads. people who uh, appointed a woman to run for president in a secret meeting. And they basically took all of those clips and condensed it into 45 seconds and replaced democracy with bureaucracy. Mm-hmm. It's pretty funny. If the Democrats fail, it might be the end of American bureaucracy. Our bureaucracy really is in fundamental peril. The foundations of American bureaucracy under attack. They want to destroy our bureaucracy. We are a bureaucracy in danger. We're watching an election where people are on the ballot openly advocating the end of bureaucracy. That's what Republicans are doing, Whoa. attacking bureaucracy. That's right. It's Whoa. spot on. <laughs> Everyone's frightened. Well... I'm not. Uh, but then again, I don't work for the government. Uh, just as a side note, how ironic is it that we're sitting here applauding a brand new department when we've been pitching about yeah. the brand new departments for years and years and years? But in this case, I wish we had one here in Minnesota, but, but a Kenny, Department of Efficiency. So I, I agree with you completely, but I believe... Is it Vivek or v- Vivek? Vivek. Vivek. I think it's your your own interpretation. Sure. Yeah. Uh, VR, <laughs> yeah. VR and Elon, I believe, are doing this free of charge. They're not getting paid. Yeah, um, I think that's correct. Yeah. That's well, I, let's hope they get paid through the back door or under the table. Hey, well, now, I'll put it on. this way, Kenny. Maybe some contracts. Or something. You were out last week, but um, Josh had a really good Boy, in-depth analysis of of <laughs> Elon basically uh, investing 130 some million into the Trump campaign. Uh, Tesla, once Trump was elected, the stock increased. I did not know this until Josh told me. Do you know what he made the most money on? I don't. With Tesla, I don't. Uh, when you buy carbon credits, those go through Tesla. Oh, really? What a freaking genius. Well, but I don't think Elon has uh, ever shorted himself on receiving government money. No. 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 I think he's launched a few things with the help of the taxpayer. Sure. Uh, Where was I? Oh, they want to conclude this audit no later than the 4th of July 2026 on the 250th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence signing. Wouldn't that be something? Hmm. America. What if they really accomplish something? What if Americans suddenly have more jingle jangle in their pockets? But wouldn't that be f- easier to believe than the status quo that we've been dealt the last however many years? Um, that's what. That's where I'm at, Chris, because as you know, I trust nobody. Right. And when somebody makes a promise to me, I know they're lying. And uh, my biggest fear is that this is just going to be another department that is going to do everything to stay in power and keep their jobs and whatever it takes. That's how cynical I am. I don't know what to think about uh, the president.